large symphysial fundal height. To start off this video, let's go back to the definition of symphysial fundal height. I would advise taking a look back at my video on the obstetric examination first, but as a quick recap, symphysial fundal height refers to a measurement in centimeters from the symphysis pubis to the fundus of the uterus. The centimeter measurement should be equivalent to the gestation in weeks, plus or minus two centimeters. Therefore, a large symphysial fundal height is a measurement which differs by more than two centimeters. So if you happen to have a large symphysial fundal height, what are the possible causes for this discrepancy? So first of all, we have macrosomia, which means having a big baby. Secondly, we've got a multiple pregnancy. Of course, two babies are larger than one. Next, we've got polyhydramnios. This refers to excess amniotic fluid. If you want another video about polyhydramnios, leave a comment below. We've also got fibroids, which might result in a large SFH. Of course, fibroids increase the size of the uterus, therefore making SFH an inaccurate assessment of fetal growth. Maternal obesity can also make SFH measurements inappropriate. In fact, women with a BMI of more than 35 should have seared ultrasounds performed to assess fetal growth. The last cause of a large SFH is inaccurate dates. We might have gotten the dates of this pregnancy incorrect, explaining why they don't match up. So these here are the main things we should be thinking about. Now a small note on macrosomia. The most common cause of having a big baby is diabetes. We always, always need to think and test for diabetes in these situations. This could be type 1, type 2, or gestational diabetes. Other factors which may be resulting in a large baby are a male infant, maternal obesity, and advanced maternal age. Now, once we've established that we have a large SFH, we need to assess what's going on. And to do this, we perform an ultrasound. We can check if we have two babies instead of one, if there is a fibroid, or if there is a large baby. We assess this by performing different measurements on the ultrasound. Abdominal circumference and estimated fetal weight are the ones most commonly used. These measurements are plotted on a growth chart to assess the measurement according to the gestational age. Macrosomia, or more commonly used, large for gestational age, is defined as an estimated fetal weight greater than the 90th centile. Lastly, to close out this video, I'd just like to quickly mention complications which may be associated with large for gestational age babies. These include an increased rate of caesarean sections, shoulder dystocia, 4 degree perineal tears, chorioamnionitis, postpartum hemorrhage, and a longer hospital stay. Hope this was useful. Like and subscribe.